one thirty this afternoon, call came out, shots fired. That was called in by the Secret Service. Because we're in constant contact with them all the time, we were notified of that, and we had units here that immediately sealed off the area. Fortunately, we were able to locate a witness that came to us and said, hey, I saw the guy running out of the bushes. He jumped into a black Nissan, and I took a picture of the vehicle and the tank, which was great. So we had that information. Our real-time crime center put it out to the license plate readers. And we were able to get a hit on that vehicle on I-95 as it was headed into Martin County. We got a hold of Martin County Sheriff's Office, alerted them, and they spotted the vehicle and pulled it over and detained the guy. After that, we took the victim, I'm sorry, the witness that witnessed the incident, took, flew him up there, and he identified as the person that he saw running out of the bushes that jumped into the car. Now, in the bushes where this guy was is an 8K47 style rifle with a scope, two backpacks which were hung on the fence that had a ceramic tile in them, and a GoPro, which he was going to take pictures of. So those are being processed right now. The Secret Service agent that was on the course did a fantastic job. What they do is they have an agent that jumps one hole ahead of time to where the president was at. And he was able to spot this rifle barrel sticking out of the fence and immediately engage that individual, at which time the individual took off. So that's what we know about the investigation. We have somebody in custody right now that is a potential suspect. We've got a little bit more work to do on it. But as we usually do, as soon as we decide that we're going to book him into the county jail and the charges that he's going to be booked into, we'll get those to you and we'll get a picture of him and we'll get you his background. So now I'm going to turn it over to the representative of the Secret Service and he's going to make a brief statement. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I first want to thank uh, all of our law enforcement partners to include the uh, Palm Beach Sheriff's Office and the Martin County Sheriff's Office for their involvement today. Uh, former President Donald Trump is safe and unharmed uh, following a protective incident shortly before 2 p.m. on Sunday at Trump International Golf Club at West Palm Beach. Uh, the U.S. Secret Service personnel opened fire on a gunman located near the property line, and this matter is under investigation. I'll turn it over to uh, my partners over at the FBI. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Veltri. I'm the special agent in charge of the FBI's Miami field office. The FBI has assumed the role as the lead federal law enforcement agency in the investigation of the incident that occurred earlier today at Trump International Golf Course here in West Palm Beach, Florida. We've deployed a number of resources, including the investigative teams, crisis response team members, bomb technicians, and evidence response team members as well. What we need right now is for the public to avoid the area around the golf course. We will continue to support this investigation with the full resources of the FBI. Alongside our partners with the United States Secret Service and the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office, as well as Martin County Sheriff's Office and state and local law enforcement. I would ask that if anyone has any information that may assist with this investigation, to contact our tip line at 1-800-CALL-FBI or at tips, that's T-I-P-S dot F-B-I dot gov. Thank you. David? Hi, I'm Dave Ehrenberg, State Attorney for Palm Beach County. I want to thank Sheriff Bradshaw and our partners at the local, state, and federal levels. Uh, I'm here because our prosecutors are currently working up warrants and a motion for pretrial detention for the suspect. Uh, in that way, he will be kept in custody. But our filing of these warrants and charges at the state level does not preclude federal charges that could be coming, but in the meantime, it looks like the, uh, the warrants and the pretrial detention motion will happen first. And again, I want to thank the cooperation we've had with our federal partners 
and at the local level. And uh, thank you all for being here today. Okay, we're going to make these pictures available to you. It'll show you a picture of the backpack and the rifle. And there's also a GoPro on the fence there where he was uh, intent on uh, filming what was going on.